Zone here live on the air. We got the one and only Bobby French on Euphoric Events. Come on the air right now. Bobby, are you there? Yeah, here, man. What's up? How you doing? Doing good, doing good, doing good. It's been a great, you know, couple days. A lot of things going on. I came back from AMP last night, so I'm a little tore up. But uh, how you doing, brother? Oh, man, I'm good. Um, got a lot of things on the horizon, still playing. Um, and, uh, you know, I got, I got, a, got a few things. I heard some people want to want to talk to me and ask me a few questions and um yeah you know find out exactly what was going on. Um, well, Body French can do a lot of things. Um, a lot of people know this, and uh, a few things Body French can't do is control time. Um, Body French cannot control that certain people that uh, that frequent our events can't tell time. Um. Not Bobby French's fault that 12 in the morning is not Saturday the next day. It's not as it's, it's three o'clock in the morning does not mean Saturday night. Machine. Period. I, I didn't make that rule. <laughs> didn't make that rule. It's something that came up. Um, another thing Bobby French doesn't do. I can't control FAA flights. Um, I can't control whether flights delayed. I can't control whether flights confirmed. Um, I can't control um, whether if people book wrong dates, um, you know, so a lot of things that that took place were that were out of that were out of the realms of control um, for me. You know, um, I guess you know, haters hate, and whatever it is that your enemies can hold against you, mm-hmm. they'll try to hold it against you. Um, you know, the Ravens Maximus was was not as good as it was last year with the nerd rage when we had you know um, 
it's like seven, eight hundred in attendance. Um, it wasn't our EDC uh, rave where we had, you know, right. twenty five hundred. Mm. Well, man, like I said, it's just been. It was. A, a, I had a personal. Good, I had a, had a good time. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I just think there's a lot of mis confusion on you know the, the dates or the time. So can you kind of elaborate? You know what was supposed to be said and what was I guess promoted and was said. Well, the format for the race is, is we didn't we don't do anything differently. We didn't do anything. Didn't market anything differently from how we normally do. Um, it's an after hours race. It right. takes place after all the shows. Mm-hmm. Um, for the past three years. Since we've been doing the Orlando after hours raves, it's always taking place at three o'clock in the morning. Right. Three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have an after party the day after the show. Right. You have the after party after the show. Right. Um. So you know, I don't know why the confusion came. I don't know where the confusion came from. Um. I don't know why people stopped doing their fundamental of reading. Um. Dr. Clearly says on everything that we have out. 4 10 3 a.m. Mm. <laughs> so it was supposed to be it clearly. <laughs> yeah, it clearly says 4 10 3 a.m. Not 4 11. 4 10 3 a.m. You know, um, so you know, we, we didn't do anything differently. Um, now, you know, the issue with uh, having DJs that were that showed up, uh, one particular DJ. Or one group of DJs that showed up didn't have a chance to play. Um, one, um, which is something that I was like, like I want to talk to you about, right. and um, you know, I'm sure you got a few listeners, and anybody in the promotion game or any term- entertainment game can attest to this. And it's something that um, I'm probably gonna, I'm definitely gonna start doing. And, and uh, I like to direct this as far as the, the accountability factor. Right. If, if you're an artist. A DJ, um, anybody like that in promotions, uh, promotion, promoter, DJ, whatever. You right. can't sell ten tickets. You need to take your ass home. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. That, that's that's all to it, you know. Um, and the accountability goes into that because you know we have people that are that 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 oh I'm a promoter for this place, I'm a promoter for that place. Um, the accountability goes there. Here, right. a promoter is someone who. Who brings change for the better for an event? Yeah, a lot of a lot of these people that we have here that they call themselves promoters, they're not that. Right. They're they're a bunch of motherfuckers that want to get to a show for free and sell their friends free tickets to just get in for free. Mm. You know, um, or if it's something, oh well, I'm going to this show. This show is better, but they have 15, 25 tickets for our show. Um, you know, there's no accountability to where. If they don't sell those tickets, nothing's going to happen to them. They turn them back in. Oh well, it's, hey, look, didn't sell the tickets. Right. Uh, why? Because I was too busy eating all the Molly that was in Orlando. <laughs> why I can go to there, you know? Um, I, 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 I'm the type of person where I'm gonna, I hold you accountable for that because uh, the accountability factor that I have to stand for. Right. If I say that I'm going to have an albino midget with a green mohawk on still juggling fire at the show, <laughs> I don't. So they're going to hold me accountable for it, you know? So. Um, the accountability factor for us to show is Cody Slick Day uh, for I Feel Parties. Right. Phenomenal promoter. Um, he, he had about five to seven different people that were telling him that they were uh, uh, promoters that worked for Office, that worked for Alliance, that worked for different promotion companies. Um, right. And they, they, they didn't produce. You right. know, they, they, were, they were given materials, they were given, they were given things, and they didn't produce. Um, why didn't they produce? Mm-hmm. Because they'd rather go somewhere to get free tickets and get high for free. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that. I, I'm in the business of selling entertainment, not selling drugs. You know, so right. um, you know, so when when some of these guys, some of these people, they they come, they want to sell tickets, they want this, they want that, they want this. I know they just want to get a hold of the ticket so they can say, oh well, I I was on the ticket selling list. I want to get in free with me and my six friends on VIP mm-hmm. who are also getting it free. Fuck mm-hmm. that. <laughs> you know, um, DJ, now let's get to the DJ. A lot, of these, a lot of these guys, man, you guys put a lot of hard work to your craft. Um, a lot of you guys are phenomenal. Guys like Shane Guthrie who, who will play 
like a slave if you let them for free. Um, you know, um, then you have guys that, you know, that, hey, I'm a DJ. Um, I have a bunch of my friends that love to listen to my music. I've played at this place. I've played at that place. Right. That's cool. It's great. You know, um, some of these DJs, they take advantage. They, they take, uh, you know, that they play for these people uh, for big, not big name artists. And that's cool, too. Um, however, the accountability where I'm at is this. You're a DJ here in Orlando, Tampa, wherever the fuck you're from. You've been DJing for how many every year? That's great. You can't have 10 people to pay come see you play? <laughs> you're such a phenomenal DJ, you can't sell 10 tickets to, see, to have 10 people pay to see you play? Mm. You're giving tickets you were given tickets uh, three, two, three months before the show, given 30 tickets, and then ticket roundup, you give all 30 tickets back, and you want to play, and then you come and you want to expect 75 to to $100 to play? Mm-hmm. Fuck out of here. <laughs> so, you know, when when they say, though, Bobby Frank is a shrewd businessman, he's cutthroat, he's this, he's that. No, nah, bro, I'm just being honest. Um, because now what I'm doing accountability somebody has to hold these people accountable for what they say they're going to do because if you say that you're going to get tickets and you're going to sell tickets I'm expecting you to give me a hundred dollars in tickets I'm right. expecting you to give me some fucking excuse that you went to Ultra and got fucked up on Molly fell asleep in the hotel and lost the ticket I don't want to hear that Right. I don't want to hear it and uh, I'm not going to stand for it. You can take that shit over there to Jeff Kenny and them guys over at Firestone. I'm cool with that. I, I don't I don't deal with that. Right. You can take that over to Guilt with, with Eric Arroyo and those guys at Optic. Right. I don't sell tickets. We produce shows. All right. All right. You know, we, we produce shows. So we need people, right, we need people that are going to be able to produce, that, that are going to be able to produce the, 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 the generate the, the clientele that we need for our show production. You know, um, I'm not into throwing free raids. Right. I'm not gonna not I'm not letting DJs come play for free, come play for seventy five to one hundred dollars, them do absolutely no promotions, no advertising, no marketing, and then bring ten of their friends to wanna get in free to meet the, the headlines that we're paying five to six grand for. Mm. No, nah, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, 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 no. So, you know, some people in Orlando, Tampa, Miami, Jacksonville, Daytona, yeah, they think, oh, well, Bobby Frick is a fucked up person. You know, I wouldn't. You think I'm fucked up. You keep giving, the, you keep giving your goddamn money away there. Right. I'm cool. I'm not doing that. I'm not I'm not in the business of, uh, I'm definitely not in the business of being bullied. I'm not, right. in, the, I'm not in the business of being bullied. And, oh, well, you know, I know this person just as I told some other people. I don't give a damn how many times you got Skrillex coffee. I don't care. I don't care how, I don't care that your friend played, uh, opened up for Bass Nectar in Germany. Who gives a fuck? Right. I don't. I'm not, I don't, I don't care. What I care about is people who are, are, are downhearted and, and do things that they say they're going to do. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm down with people who, like Cody Slickdake, who puts time, effort, energy, his, his, sometimes his own funds, into making sure that we have the best product to, to give to people. Uh, I'm about that. Um, and, and then the next line of promotions here to where we're going, um, DJs, promoters, and I hope a lot of people are listening to this and really understand. Right. Promoters, DJs, dime a dozen. Right. Dime a dozen. You can get you can get the most popular kid at UCF that's in the frat. Give him 150 bucks and, and tell him to stamp his name on a party. He may or may not have 200 people there. Great. Everybody's a fucking DJ now. Yeah. <laughs> Every, everybody's a DJ. So when so, like, so a lot of you DJs that are listening, your attitudes don't work with everybody, fellas. Because for every one of you that say you won't play, there's seven that will. And one of those seven are going to be two times better than you are. Well, and going to be wi- and going to be willing to pull their weight, going to be willing to make sure that they have. You know, I think DJs now should be paid a dollar per person. Right. 
If you want $75, bring $75 in.